Here's a quick look at the Open COBOL IDE before we get into our next COBOL program. The Open COBOL IDE provides a simple yet efficient dashboard to access your programs. Using the IDE, you can compile and run COBOL programs with ease. The IDE also provides warnings and errors for debugging code. This wasn't possible. With earlier compilers where you had to compile the program every time you code or fix the errors in a program. Going back to our Hello World program, let us deliberately remove the period after the division and identification division here. Notice how instantly a yellow triangle pops up, indicating a warning that something's wrong. Going through the warning message, you are able to find out that it is being caused by a missing period. A COBOL program can be compiled and run, even if it has a warning, but with a syntax error, the IDE will not create the executable, and therefore the program will not be run. Now let us insert a syntax error by removing program ID under identification division. Notice the red circle that appears instantly indicating that a syntax error has occurred. To fix this, we need to enter the program ID COBOL reserved word into the code. For this position, the cursor at the place where the code is to be inserted, and while we type just a few characters of the word program ID, Notice how the various COBOL reserve words are displayed in a pop-up. All we need to do is to point to the appropriate reserved word and click it to insert it into the program. In our case, program ID. Furthermore, you can have more than one program open in the IDE. Not only programs, but you can also open, view, and edit data files too. Note that the left pane displays the contents of the folder on your computer that contains all your COBOL programs and associated data files, and this folder can be changed too. We'll look at other features of the IDE as we move along. Now, let's get into our first file processing program with COBOL.